Hey, this is just a short video to let you see where I'm up to with my latest project. That's uh, a building of the Taro 680 Pro Hexacopter. First comment on the frame itself, it's a pretty good frame, it's quite easy to put together. There's a couple of little niggly bits and fiddly bits, but I suppose you get that with any frame. The Pro version has got the integrated circuit board, which sounds good, but it is a bit fiddly trying to put everything together. And of course, once the wires are soldered on, they're sandwiched in between the two plates and you can't get at them. The radio gear that I'm using with this setup is the Free Sky Tyrannus with the Free Sky X8R receiver and I'm using this in an S buzz configuration so there's only one wire from the controller to the receiver to, to control all eight channels. The NASA MV2 slap bang in the center and uh, again you've got to put a bridge across there because there's a great big hole in the middle and you can't possibly mount the NASA inside because all the wires get in the way so you have to mount it on the top and they don't supply any plate for that. This is the NASA PMU fits on there quite easily mini IOSD and the control for the gimbal and the video output is all stuck on the top with double sided tape. Motors and ESCs were purchased from Unmanned Tech in the UK and they matched motors and ESCs. I went for the 880kV motors because I've got a lot of 3 cell lipos and I thought that these would give a better speed. They're turning 12 by 5 props. The props are manufactured by Aeronaut in Germany and they're a carbon filled plastic prop and to be honest these are one of the best props I've ever got out of the packet which required very little balancing. The only thing I don't like about these motors is that they're all standard threads on the top which means that the clockwise props have a risk of loosening in service so you have to keep checking that. I'm using two three cell lipos on this platform each one 5,000 milliamps giving us a total of 10,000 milliamps going into a dual connector running them in parallel. The NASA GPS I made a little bracket to go on the back just to keep it away from the hood. The Zenmuse gimbal is fitted to the front and I actually purchased some additional 10 millimeter diameter carbon fiber tube to extend that and some additional fittings from Hobby King uh, just to make a mount. What this allows me to do is actually move the camera far enough forward so that you don't get the feet or the props or the motors in the shot. And you can also, by extending the tubes out of the back a little bit, I managed to, I've got plenty of space to move the batteries backwards so that I can get a perfect balance. Just as a matter of interest, these batteries that I'm using are uh, polypower batteries purchased from BRC Hobbies in the UK and uh, they're an extremely reasonable price and seem to be very good uh, performers. Uh, similarly, uh, other equipment came from BRC Hobbies, the propellers, and the Tyrannus radio itself came from them. Uh, to help with orientation, I have added some LED lights, which I can demonstrate. I've got a little switch to switch them on. Now I've got white on the forward two facing arms, and red on the rear arms. Equipment that's on the bottom of the frame is uh, the power supply for the video transmitter. The video transmitter itself, standard fat shark video transmitter. 
and the low battery alarm. Here we go with the first hover test. Drifting a little bit, but that's just the wind in this back garden. It's just on centre stick there. Seems to be hobbling okay. Responsive to the controls, but as I say, it is getting blown around a bit. Well, this is my maiden flight of the Taro 680 Pro. Windy, so it's struggling there with the GPS, but uh, not bad. Forward. Tilt the camera down a little bit. Wind's buffeting it there. Oh. 